So if we consider our previous uh, activity, which is uh, working with the RSC circuit, uh, we also managed to head a time constant referred to an RSC circuit. But this time we are referring to the time constant that can affect an L uh, RL circuit. In that case, how can it gonna affect when the circuit that we are given is having an inductor? and having a resistor that's in RL circuit. So the, by definition, this is the one that we are given that it is the time taken for the circuit to reach the steady, uh, the steady state condition, which is the major part there, to reach that, the steady state condition after a disturbance, assuming a constant rate of change, which can happen in charging or it can be discharging current. This is the time for voltages and currents to charge by 63,2%. We saw this uh, percentage previously working with an RSC circuit. So it has to charge or it has to be taken to 63.2% of the total voltage. That time constant this time is expressed as L over R. That is the inductance over the, re uh, the resistance. So meaning to say, as you consider an RSC, uh, RL circuit, that we have our value is going to be L over the resistance. That is considering your RL circuit. Inductance value over resistance. And this is measured in what? Uh, that is seconds. So this is the presentation that definitely going to have uh, in terms of the presentation. Whenever maybe you are given a graphical presentation and a 63.2% is given uh, considering an RL circuit and that condition you use the time to be the time constant so that is the major part that you're gonna have and I talked about that in our previous case so not gonna waste much time there just need to consider which type of a circuit are you having just like what we had when dealing with the capacitor when the VDC is connected in terms of our calculations we saw that it's gonna affect so when the voltage is connected. That's we're going to be talking of the growth. They can write this as the charge cycle, uh, depending with your, your books, okay? Uh, they can just write this as the charge, but this is referred to as the growth, as the growth. When the source is connected, VDC is connected. Source voltage is connected at that moment. So the formulas that you need, just like what we had, the voltage across the resistor, that of across the inductor, the current. So what will be the formulas? Number one, voltage across the resistor will be given by the formula Vm into one minus e to the exponent of minus t over tau. So this is B, our formula this time. Remembering our tau, like I said before, the tau, uh, if it is, an RL circuit is going to be inductance over the resistance. So that is the tau that you're talking about. So it depends. Some textbook they can present using the L and the R. They depends with how you're given. But that you must calculate the tau, then substitute the value that you have uh, obtained. Uh, so that is what you're going to have in that, uh, in that case. Number two, that of the inductor, the voltage across the inductor, that's going to be Vm. Uh, into one minus, just like the same way that we're calculating this, minus T over tau. And that is also in volts and calculating the current. Uh, in this case, guys, I'm now mixing this one, mixing the current there. It's supposed to be the current, the V is supposed to be like this. The VL is supposed to be VM e to the exponent of minus T over tau, like this. Uh, that is the Vm uh, taken and just going to have e to the exponent of minus 2 over tau. Just Vm as it is not with the minus, the 1 minus there. The 1 minus is on the current. It is the current that is going to have that. So it's 1 minus e to the exponent of minus t over tau. Okay, let's just correct and move with these formulas during the charge cycle. Uh, this is what you are going to have or during the growth 
And as we do understand, IM is simply VM over the resistance. This is not going to change. Uh, just like before, we saw this calculation of IM and also the issue of the rate of change. Those things, they can happen uh, in terms of the question that you're given. Just consider, say, how the question is given. Then uh, the part of discharge. So like I said, it depends with your textbook, the while they write, they can write discharge cycle, according to mine that I'm using. Uh, this is the part of a DK, a DK, when it is a DK, what will be the formula? So on the DK, we are going to see that we are not going to have these one minus. We're just going to have our normal formulas as they are supposed to be. When I'm saying the normal formulas, I'm supposed to have my VR as VM e to the exponent of minus t over tau. Everything is just going to be in that manner. Same with your VL. Uh, it's going to be in that manner. VM e to the exponent of minus t over tau. As you can see, these two, they will uh, be equal. Okay, they are equal in value. Number three, we're going to talk of the current, which is from IM e to the exponent of minus t over tau. Not forgetting where our tau is being taken from uh, L of R. So in questions like this, you must be ready to check how the questions will be given in terms of your uh, condition. Is the voltage connected VDC or not? So the discharge of the DK concept is when VDC is disconnected. This one is uh, disconnected, is removed at that moment. Okay. So also, I'm going to Talk of the energy, they can even ask you to calculate the energy stored. We also uh, saw that typical question. When you are asked to calculate the energy stored, uh, just going to use the omega, but we know that energy is W, guys, but they can use omega in textbooks and also your question papers. Uh, so you're just going to maintain the way that they write it for you. So it's going to be half L. Uh, that is the current that we are given uh, squared. This time you consider the current, okay? So meaning to say, if you are having the inductance value, the 0 0.5, the half there is simply 0 0.5. So it can be just 0 0.5. So that is, we are going to work with the current that is affecting now uh, the value of what? The value that you are given your maximum current, which can be uh, actually, uh, the, the the inductance value that you are talking about, the current that is affecting the inductor. So the current that we are talking about is actually the current that will be on the inductor. But depending with the condition that you are given, is it the maximum current, the maximum condition? But that will be the current across uh, the inductor in that case. So let us just work with our revisions and our question papers. Uh, we are going to see how questions can be given uh, relating to these uh, questions, like when you are talking about uh, the RL circuit in terms of your calculations, we shall see that in our next class and considering other as that we have considering our transit. So let's see that in our next class for now. Let's just maintain our formulas, at least understand the calculations that you are going to expect to have uh, in your RL circuit and also the definition uh, of the, uh, the time constant, considering that you are dealing with an RL circuit, uh, what is it that you are talking about to reach the steady state conditions after a disturbance uh, or the condition where this is the time taken for voltages and currents to charge by 63 two percent take note 63.2 percent of the total change that end is expressed by this so meaning to say whenever they give you a percentage of 63.2 percent be mindful that you are still working with the time constant